the traditional way for judging an employee or planning his career in the company was degree focused. We are moving from that to skill focused. It was more of transaction focus, any upskilling program. We are saying make it people focused. The systems were automating HR data and processes. We are saying focus on skill based people development. There were application and data uh, silos. We are talking about integrated people and work solutions. The decisions about a particular employee was made on historical and decision based decisions. We are talking about getting agility and real time skill metrics. People were gauged on their job experience. We are telling gauge people on skill proficiency. So the innovative way is more focused on the skill a person possesses, and that's the future. So Reed, could you elaborate a little bit on the difference between degree focused and skill focused? So there's a trend going in the market. So when I talk to a couple of uh, companies and their HR departments, previously they would say we would uh, kind of promote a person or we would uh, the appraisals were based on their uh, current experience and the degrees they have, like uh, is he having a undergrad education or is he a post graduation on those basis. Uh, today, they think those degrees are valuable, but once you're into a job like four, five years, 10 years, uh, your uh, education is a past, right? What is current is what skills you have acquired and what skills are you going to acquire in future? So rather than focusing on the college degrees, the current focus, the companies are putting in on the skill. Are you skilled today? Are you able to uh, upgrade your skills, upskill yourself? So that's the difference between degree focus and a skill focus. All right. And there is a follow-up question to that. Laura is asking what's transaction focused versus people focused. So uh, when we say a transaction focus, it is mainly seeing what transactions are done in an organization in terms of, let's say previously, it would be a company coming and saying, Hey, this is our roadmap for the next five years. And uh, for this roadmap of an organization, these are the skills. Uh, which our sales team or the business development team is selling. This is something happening in the market. And uh, since you have learned Java, you need to upgrade yourself to the next Java version. Very transactional. It was all based on my historical data and the transactions what I have done. And now we are saying rather than doing that, can it be people focused? Maybe I'm good in Java today. But Java was never my uh, first choice. I just started my career with that seven years ago. But I've always been an amazing person when it comes to data. I can study voluminous data uh, at any given moment of time and come up with amazing patterns. That's my maybe a hobby. So if as a person, my aspiration is to become, I'm good with data, then I would like to focus on as a data scientist rather than upgrading myself to the next version of Java. So for moving from transaction focus to people focus.